In this example, I'd like to consider the approximate solution for the deformation of an axial loaded bar with a distributed load. So we have a linearly distributed load B of x, which is equal to B naught x over L. And the solution space for this problem is all functions that take a value of 0 at x equals 0. So we measure x from the, the left-hand side over here. And as an approximation, what I'd like to do is look at a one-dimensional subspace S tilde, which is just composed of linear functions. So the governing potential energy for this system is a function of u of x is equal to the integral 0 to l, 1 half ae u prime squared, so that's the strain energy, minus the potential of the load. So we have a distributed load, so we have b naught x over l times the deflection at each point integrated over the length of the bar. So there's our total potential energy. And for u of x, we're going to use this simple form here. So we'll have 0 to L, 1 half AE times C squared dx minus integral 0 to L, B0x over L, C times x dx. And so now the potential energy has become a function of C. So we can integrate this, 1 half AE L C squared minus b0 c over l l cubed over 3. So, and this must be stationary, so the derivative of pi with respect to c s equals 0, so that's for equilibrium. So I find ael times c minus b0 l squared over 3 is equal to 0, so I can solve for c. So c then becomes b0 l over 3 ae. So I find that my approximate solution is equal to B0LX divided by 3AE. So this is a one-term approximate solution to this problem. Now this problem, we have a distributed load that's linearly varying. So if I were to look at the exact solution, so if I looked at AE U double prime plus B0X over L, so using the differential equation of equilibrium, we can see that U is really going to be cubic in nature. So, But what we have up here is a linear approximation solution to the true cubic solution.